So today I'm reviewing the Peach and Lily Peptide Pro Firming Moisturizer, and I've got some thoughts on it. So I picked this up a while ago, so finally I had a chance to review it. It's a thicker moisturizer, so it's not really perfect for like summer, but now that fall is here and winter is here, it's a little bit better uh, in terms of the texture and hydration that it offers. So, okay, so they say Peach and Lily Peptide Pro Firming Moisturizer intensively targets wrinkles with 12 peptides while deeply hydrating skin, which is all very true. So... My first criteria is packaging. It's got a jar packaging, which is kind of a bummer because there's so many good ingredients in here and so many good antioxidants. And I just feel like every time I open it up, they slowly degrade. So it's a bummer, especially when they did such a great job with all these ingredients in here. So a pump bottle or an airless jar or anything would have been better than, than this type of packaging for those ingredients. So it's a bummer. But there's still good ingredients in here. So if you do pick this up, I highly recommend trans, transpotting it or whatever they call it. Depotting it or whatever. Transporting it into something else that's an airless package. Um, in terms of denatured drying types, Velthal does not contain any of those. We get to fragrance. The scent is very light. It's not very noticeable, but it does contain bergamot oil, which is kind of a bummer because... A lot of people are very sensitive to essential oils as well as bergamot oil specifically. So keep that in mind if you have sensitive skin. Um, the scent isn't very strong or overpowering. It dissipates almost immediately. I'm wearing it under my foundation right now. I don't smell anything, so that's nice because some moistures are very strong. Uh, the manufacturer location for this one is Korea, so no issues with that. So ease of use. Uh, it's got a blue color to it, which is from the copper peptides, although... I had somebody recently mention they bought a serum with copper peptides that had no blue color to it, which I guess from my research, it means either the amount of copper peptides in it is very low, not to give it any color, but also a lot of brands that use copper peptides add some blue or other colors to it to make it more blue, or perhaps they used something else in there that uh, negated the blue shade. So anyway, just interesting comment. So the texture of this is... Uh, thicker creamy texture but it smooths over skin a little bit of it goes a very long way which is nice uh, and then it once it absorbs it sets to kind of a natural finish that's not super shiny really works well under sunscreen works great in your morning routine or evening routine I prefer using this in my evening routine just because of the slightly thicker texture to it but now that's getting drier out I'm appreciating the extra moisture in my daytime routine as well so uh, it feels also, it feels somewhat occlusive, not super thick or heavy, but it feels a little bit occlusive to me. So very nice texture and perfect for fall and winter time and no issues with pilling or anything like that. So really love it for both routines. So there we go. Okay, beneficial ingredients in this one. So we've got sorbitol, which is a sugar-derived humectant. This is a long list. I'm going to take a big, big, big breath. It's a long, impressive list. Okay, then we've got vegan collagen extract, which is a hydrating ingredient. You can't apply collagen and get collagen. It doesn't work that way, but collagen itself is hydrating. Uh, we've got acetohexapeptide 8, which is also known as argaline, which is a cell-communicating ingredient, anti-aging, helps with fine lines and wrinkles. We've got acetyl tetrapeptide 5, which is also known as isoril, which is a 4-amino peptide, which is claimed to improve with puffy eyes uh, and also has anti-glycation effects and cell-communicating ingredient. We've got SH, oleopeptide 1, which is also known as epidermal growth factor. It's wound healing, skin firming, helps with fine lines and wrinkles. It's a controversial ingredient. There's not a ton of long-term 20, 30-year research into it. So people that use it, we're kind of acting as guinea pigs in a serp because there's not tons of long-term research on it. But the short-term research on it shows that it helps a lot with fine lines and wrinkles. We've got that copper tripeptide, cell communicate ingredient, soothing, antioxidant, wound healing. Uh, we've got tripeptide 1, which is a cell communicate ingredient. Palmitoyl tripeptide 5, which is also known as syncol, which is a tripeptide. It's thought to help protect skin, boost collagen, improve skin texture. Uh, we've got palmitoyl tripeptide 1, which is part of Matrixyl 3000, cell communicate ingredient that helps with fine lines, wrinkles, and skin firmness. Nona peptide 1, cell communicate ingredient, skin condition ingredient. Hexapeptide 9, which is another good anti-aging peptide that can help visibly reduce the length and depth of wrinkles, which is what we want to reduce the appearance of them. We've got palm, palmitoyl pentapeptide 4, which helps reduce fine lines, wrinkles, 
and also improves skin texture significantly in the studies that have been done on it. We've got SH polypeptide 1, which is also known as basic fibroblast growth factor signaling protein. Uh, then we've got serine, methanonine, and arginine, which are all amino acids, skin identical ingredients. Uh, cysteine is in here, which is a good antioxidant. We've got mushroom extract, also known as silver ear mushroom, which is a hydrating humectant ingredient. Polyglutamic acid, which is a humectant. Then we've got hydrolyzed sodium hyaluronic, hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic acid, sodium hyaluronic, and sodium hyaluronic cross polymers, which are all five different types of humectants and different sizes and abilities to hydrate skin. Squalane's in here, which is a great antioxidant, skin identical ingredient. We've got Saccharomyces rice ferment filtrate, which is skin conditioning ingredient. We've got Prunus moon fruit extract, which is another humectant. Turmeric, good skin soothing, brightening antioxidant ingredient. We've got algae, which is a skin conditioning ingredient. And then we've got ginseng extract, which is a antioxidant. Couple more, we've got eggplant extract, skin conditioning ingredient, apricot fruit extract, skin conditioning ingredient, aloe extract, soothing and hydrating, basil, holy basil, skin conditioning ingredient, adenosine, cell communicating ingredient, vitamin E, antioxidant, neem extract, skin conditioning ingredient, 3O, ethyl azorbic acid, antioxidant, skin brightening ingredient, glucose, which is another good humectant, and then finally, IV gourd extract, which is skin conditioning ingredient. So we've got a ton of ingredients in here. Uh, the drunk elephant, elephant proteiny has a very long ingredient list. This one does too. And in fact, they're both pretty similar in a lot of ways. So it's a really nice job on the ingredients. It's overwhelming, but I'd rather be overwhelmed with exciting, good peptides and things like that than anything else. So they did a good job with that. In terms of animal testing, it's vegan as well as cruelty free. So that's awesome. We love that. So for, for, par, for performance, I always get tongue tied on that one. For performance of this one, after using this now for several months, I can honestly say I found this to be very similar to the Drunk Elephant Proteiny. It's a little bit thicker, but in terms of the peptides, epidermal growth factors, other ingredients in this one, it's very similar, very impressive. Uh, it helps firm up the skin, helps with fine lines and wrinkles. Uh, it's just a slightly thicker version than the Proteiny, probably a little bit more geared towards drier skin types. But overall, the ingredients are wonderful. Really happy with the performance. Very hydrating. My skin loves it. Um, I will say it's slightly iffy for acne-prone skin. We've got a few ingredients of note. Uh, we've got ceteral alcohol, steric acid, squalane, and then carbamer. So keep that one in mind. In terms of the price, so it's more affordable than the Proteiny. So this is a full-size 1.7 ounces, 50 milliliters, and retails for $43. So it's a bit expensive, but it's still... It's still like 25 bucks cheaper than the Proteiny, so keep that one in mind. But it's still going to be pretty pricey for most people. $43 is a lot of money for a moisturizer. Although I will say I've been using it now at least once a day for a couple months now. I still have a little bit left, so that a little bit goes a long way for that. Okay, in terms of the it factor, very close to being a 10 out of 10. A couple small things, the jar packaging and then the bergamot oil. I didn't love, and it's a little bit expensive, but overall, I really think it's a great product. Um, if you're going to spend the money on it, I think you'll be happy with it. The peptides in here are wonderful. Uh, the little bit of fragrance in here is, again, kind of an issue, but for some people, uh, most people probably won't be a big deal. Wish they would have left that out. If they would have left that out, I could recommend it to everybody, but because they didn't, it makes it a bit iffy for some sensitive skin types. But overall, it's a really wonderful product. I'll definitely pick it up again in a heartbeat. Uh, so with a 10 being a perfect score, this one a 7, which is interesting because I really do love it. It got a C, but I still love it. So anyway, there we go. Uh, anyway, interesting from you guys if you had a chance to check this one out yet or not, and if you have what your thoughts are. So leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys, and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.